Orthographic projection. Perspective projection. Hey guys! Guys? Hello? What? What do you want? I need help with my projection. Can you guys help me out, please? <clears throat> sure, I guess. Yay! Learning is fun. Uh, what's orthographic projection? Orthographic projection is a way of representing a 3D object in the second dimension. In it, the projection plane is parallel to the coordinate plane, while the projection direction is perpendicular to the projection plane. Orthographic view is set up by a first angle projection where six planes surround an object and the view from each side is imprinted on its respective plane. You can see the view from four of these planes in the example, the front, back, right, and left views of a house. Is that any different from oblique projection? Oblique projection is a type of parallel projection, so it projects the image by intersecting parallel rays from the object with the projection plane, which in this case is the computer screen. Oblique projection is also the crappiest method for drawing 3D models. However, it is the easiest. This is because oblique is not really a 3D system, but a forced 2D view of the object. Is that everything I need to know? Yeah. <laughs> no, ah, there's more. There's perspective. So far all you learned were parallel projections. You've yet to touch perspective projections. To understand perspective projections, you need to know its basic parts. You have vanishing points that lay on the horizon. The lower your eye level is from the horizon, the more skewed the object would look. You can have up to three vanishing points. Any more will confuse you. Perspective projection simulates the representation of an object on a flat surface. For example, the computer screen, as it is perceived by the eye. Think of looking through a window and drawing everything inside the window pane. This is perspective projection. The two major characteristics of perspective projection are that objects farther from the eye are drawn smaller than objects closer to the eye. The other characteristic is that when viewing the object at an angle, the object becomes distorted. This is called spatial foreshortening. There is one point perspective where you are looking at the object from one point of view, like so. Usually the lines of the object are directly parallel with the viewer. Two-point perspective can be used to draw the same object, except it will look slightly rotated so that you can see two sets of parallel lines converge to different vanishing points. This also means that you can see two faces of the cube, if you are drawing a cube, that is. Three-point perspective is viewing the object from three viewpoints so that you can see even more faces of the cube. Looks cool, doesn't it? What's all this used for? Is it even important for anything? Projection is very useful in graphics in everyday life. For instance, Ultima 7 uses oblique projection. Cool. Generally speaking, projection is a type of transformation that is often used to project 3D points on a 2D plane. We could use perspective projection to simulate the depth of objects in scenes. Cool, I feel so informed now. Thanks, guys. <laughs>